that context, we describe what is soil and soil profile. Uh, in my previous video, I discussed about the soil erosion. The question is how to conserve soil, how to conserve the fertility of the soil, and how to protect soil from wearing away due to physical forces like water and wind. So this is called soil conservation to protect the top fertile layer of the soil from be being blown away by wind and from being eroded by rain. So the, there are many ways to conserve the soil. The first step to conserve the soil is to increase, we must increase in vegetation. Children, we discussed about that the afforestation is planting trees and if we have cut the trees for our needs, we have to uh, re, uh, we have to go for reforestation and when we increase the vegetation, uh, we will certainly protect the soil because all of us know that the roots of the uh, plant bind, the roots of the plant bind the soil. So increasing vegetation can protect the top fertile layer of the soil. And the next step is crop rotation. It is a method of farming where a number of different crops are grown one after the other on a field so that the soil stays healthy and fertile. If any cultivable land is left barren or vacant for land long, the loose dry soil gets eroded easily. So we must always uh, keep the soil covered with vegetation and protect the soil. Third is cover crop. Between harvesting one crop and planting the next crop, many times we left the soil barren, but we should not keep the uh, soil barren because the, when the land is barren, it may be easily eroded by the wind and water. So we should uh, go for the cover crops to uh, cover the soil and the roots of the cover crops by the soil. So by that way, we can protect the soil. The fourth is development of pastures and the grass and the herbs do not get time to recover and grow due to over grazing by cattle. So uh, we always we should go this lead to soil erosion. So to prevent such erosion, we should reserve the uh, place of pastures and we should develop the place of pastures for the grazing of the cattle uh, secluded by that way we can prevent soil erosion and the next is construction of embankment building embankment along river banks prevents soil erosion the river water is unable to flood and nearby fields so soil is thus conjured from erosion by water. Next is making terraces. So this is possible in hilly areas where cutting steps or terraces on the slopes of the hills and building ones on the outer edges control the flow of water and help in reducing the soil erosion. This type of farming is called uh, terrace farming. And next is constructing dams. So many times soil erosion is caused by river floods. By constructing dams, we can prevent erosion by the river floods. Uh, soil erosion by the uh, by the river uh, water. And the last is wind breaks. So uh, children, we must consider the farmers are having the ability uh, to grow the windbreaks to uh, cover the, uh, to uh, stop the flow of uh, wind, uh, windbreaks, farmers plant these barriers around their fields. This prevents the soil from being uh, blown away. The land is thus saved from the soil erosion by uh, planting uh, trees uh, to break the uh, break the flow of wind.
weight and uh, to, to prevent the soil from being eroded by weight. <laughs>